name is Prasad Yenigala, and uh, I'm the Chief uh, Compliance Officer at Ripcord, uh, primarily with uh, twofold responsibilities. Um, one, uh, to secure uh, Ripcord's business systems, networks, data center, and uh, cloud infrastructure. And uh, uh, two, uh, to design, build, and deploy a uh, compliance program uh, that uh, aligns with uh, global, federal, um, local regulations and applicable laws. Um, prior to Ripcord, um, I held positions uh, that require driving enterprise risk and governance programs uh, across multiple industries such as healthcare, high tech, government, utilities, um, and energy uh, to implement appropriate levels of security and uh, data protection controls, uh, leveraging um, some of the uh, industry best practices and uh, frameworks, um, primarily to um, identify, protect, detect, respond, and recover from threats and attacks to protect business and customer critical data that includes uh, classified and uh, uh, sensitive data uh, that's subject to industry regulations uh, such as FISMA, HIPAA, PCI, DSS, GDPR, SOX, GLP, GLBA, uh, so on and uh, so forth. Uh, in terms of um, um, security protocols, uh, the key is identification of risk areas and mapping them to uh, high impact controls, uh, found, um, foundational controls and organizational controls uh, to mitigate uh, business and operational risk. Uh, to name uh, a few um, uh, specific controls, um, we put together a program in place where we basically identify authorized and unauthorized devices and software in the business environment. We conduct security audits. Um, we uh, secure configurations for hardware and software. Uh, we uh, uh, do uh, continuous vulnerability assessments um, and figure out the remediation um, activities. Um, to mitigate those risks. And we uh, put together programs in place where we monitor controlled usage of access privileges um, across our AWS environment on-premise. Um, and uh, we also uh, harden our email and web infrastructure uh, for uh, um, data protection. Um, also, uh, uh, we provide malware defense to our um, endpoint systems uh, and user community, uh, networking, monitoring, data recovery capabilities. Uh, data protection is one of the key and core requirements for our business model. Um, and we do that by securing our applications uh, via uh, disaster recovery and uh, cloud security. Um, so Ripcord's controls are um, structured around five pillars of information assurance, um, primarily availability, integrity, authentication, confidentiality, and non-repudiation. Uh, these are the uh, high-level uh, security uh, threats that um, um, most of the uh, cyber risks uh, emanate from. So we started with the discovery and gap assessment to identify uh, vulnerabilities and gaps across our systems, applications, cloud, data center, and network infrastructure environment. And uh, we risk ranked, uh, prioritized, actionable information and selected compensating security and privacy controls using um, industry best practices and frameworks such as ITIL, uh, FISMA, FedRAMP, ISO 27001 uh, to remediate the security and data privacy risk areas such as, you know, denial of service, brute force attacks, credential theft, data loss, hacking and social engineering attacks with, uh, um, by means of implementing um, controls that are specific to um, uh, user 
access and authentication controls, application controls to address vulnerabilities in our um, uh, software, operational security controls such as firewalls, intrusion detection systems, patch management automation, um, network security and monitoring, data loss prevention systems, um, antivirus, malware, scanning systems, uh, security information and event monitoring systems to monitor RIP cards, network and uh, application landscape for potential threats and breaches. Um, we also um, uh, implement uh, encryption of sensitive data and classified information. So this is basically uh, encryption of uh, um, classified information or sensitive data at rest and uh, encryption of uh, information in usage and encryption of information while it's in uh, motion. So we put together all these various uh, controls uh, and uh, we are also uh, are now in the process of deploying IT service management uh, uh, processes. Uh, these are ITIL foundational processes for um, incident response, um, problem management, change management, service desk, um, configuration management um, based on uh, the ITIL best practices. And um, uh, from an organizational controls point of view, um, we put together applicable policies, procedures, standards, and guidelines to achieve operational excellence. And um, all of our security and privacy controls are basically designed uh, to address the most uh, stringent of regulate, uh, regulatory compliance requirements across uh, HIPAA, PCI, GDPR, GLBA, uh, and other uh, relevant uh, regulations. Let me start off uh, at a high level. The goal of certification and attestation um, in the regulatory space is basically to ensure that uh, proper policies and controls are in place to reduce risk, to set up a system of checks and balances, and to alert personnel when new risks materialize and to manage business processes more efficiently and proactively. So from a global regulation landscape, um, EU General Data Protection Regulation, or in short, uh, GDPR, is built around um, protecting any data that could identify a, uh, identify a living person. Uh, GDPR is a non-prescriptive framework uh, with uh, guidance on uh, EU citizen data privacy that provides users controls over uh, how their personal data uh, is used. Um, GDPR defines a set of rules and regulations to guide organizations around the world in dealing with um, personal data of uh, EU residents. And uh, some major aspects of GDPR, uh, because privacy has become such a key requirement across the globe, um, any organization that is uh, handling um, um, personal, uh, personally identified information or uh, protected health information or any other sensitive uh, information related to a data subject. Um, the data subjects or the users need to have some sort of um, uh, rights uh, and these rights are basically transparency, right to access, right to uh, rectification, uh, right to be forgotten, uh, right to data portability, uh, right to restrict processing. Uh, so GDPR compliance requires uh, a design and deployment of compensating controls to achieve alignment with uh, uh, data lifecycle management uh, that includes collection, processing, storage, transfer, and uh, disposal. So the, this is a global regulation that uh, we are trying to build our uh, uh, controls um, uh, um, controls landscape to effectively meet and align with the specific regulation. And coming to federal regulations uh, such as HIPAA, uh, which is a healthcare uh, regulation, its primary focus is on protecting personal health information and um, 
Certification would confirm that all aspects of HIPAA rules are understood and being followed. Uh, HIPAA assessments and audits enable organizations to achieve attestation uh, confirming HIPAA compliance. Similarly, uh, there are other regulatory requirements uh, for uh, payment card industry, which is called PCI DSS. Um, that's a data security standard and uh, GLBA, uh, which is a gram leach Bliley Act, which is a financial services regulation. Uh, and uh, FISMA, which is a Federal Security Information Management Act and uh, FedRAMP, which is a uh, Federal Risk and Authorization Management Program. All these regulations require um, varying degree of security and data protection controls, uh, policies, organizational measures to demonstrate compliance uh, against today's uh, most challenging regulatory uh, standards uh, that requires continuous monitoring of networks, cloud environments, and endpoints. And there are um, some local regulations, uh, such as uh, CCPA, California Consumer uh, Privacy Act, uh, is a new regulation that is applicable to businesses that operate in California. So certifications and attestation uh, provide the level of assurance that uh, adequate levels of controls and uh, measures are in place to align with uh, any uh, specific regulation. RIPCAR is looking at all the various regulations that are applicable uh, for our business model. And uh, there is no single certification authority that can meet challenges of information assurance from multitude regulations, uh, compliance and applicable laws. And as I alluded to in my earlier statements, our objective and goal is to establish an enterprise risk management program uh, that continuously monitors our security, privacy, risk and compliance posture and uh, identify best practices and frameworks to mitigate the risk by deployment of organizational and technical measures. Um, having said that, from a global regulation point of view, we are considering ISO 27001, and from reg uh, federal regulatory compliance, we have adopted uh, FISMA, NIST SP 853, and uh, SOC2 audit certifications as a Go to standard, which provides an uh, overarching set of comprehensive controls that uh, substantially overlaps with controls for HIPAA, PCI, GLBA, GDPR, and other uh, privacy uh, and security uh, uh, requirements. <laughs>